Hi there, Maddie here, CEO and co-founder of Boulder. And this is a quick step-by-step -step tutorial on how to connect your Klima Smart Thermostat to the app. So inside the packaging, um, under the Klima Smart Thermostat itself, you'll find this Harmonica instructional manual. If you haven't already done so, please take a few moments to read through it. It's a simple bit of documentation that will make connecting your Klima a total breeze. So before we go any further, uh, please make sure you have the following ready. First, the remote control from your mini split AC or air to air heat pump is ready and at hand. Uh, second, make sure you're in the same room as the mini split AC or air to air heat pump unit. And third, please make sure you have an outlet ready and by your side. So first things first, let's download the Boulder app, either scan the QR code inside the instructional manual or just search the Boulder Boulder in the Google Play Store or Boulder Energy in the iOS App Store. So I'll share my screen, open up the app and let's get on board it in just a few minutes. So I have the Boulder Energy app open in front of me. We're going to input our email address, press continue, input our first name, last name, and input a secure password. Once you're ready, please connect to the next step. So this step, we actually have to choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. I'm actually based out of Europe, so I'm going to press C for Celsius. Next step is to confirm your email. So head on over to your email client and find the code. You can simply copy the code from your email and paste it into your Boulder app. So at this stage, we've successfully created an account. We're going to proceed to create a property. I'm going to press create property. I'm in my office, so I'm going to press office, but you can create, you can choose from a whole variety of different property types. Let's give our office a nickname. We'll call it Boulder headquarters. Allow Boulder to use location. Let's uh, drag and drop the pin to the correct address, or you can input the address in the search bar. Let's continue. So a property type is created and now we can go ahead and add a device. At this stage, we have a selection of different Boulder devices to choose from. Today, we're connecting Klima, the smart thermostat for your mini split AC or heat pump. Let's press Klima. Let's create a room. Um, I'm currently located in the open workspace. So I'm going to choose the first selection. Press continue. Let's call it the Boulder workroom. Create room, voila, the, the room has been created. Now we can add the device to this room. So add device to this room, we choose Klima. We're adding it to the Boulder workroom that we've just created. And here we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to, to actually set up your Klima inside this room. So at this stage, the app is making sure that we have a clear view of the mini split AC or air tear heat pump to which you will be connecting your Klima Smart Thermostat. So be in the same room. Let's get started. First things first, let's connect the Pogo pin connector. It's this transparent wire that you have inside the box. And what we have to do is just simply connect it by attaching it so. Let's press continue. At the next stage, you need to connect the cable to the actual outlet. Mine's already connected. So I'm gonna press continue. Okay, so let's scan the QR code that is actually on the back of the Klima device. So I'm gonna pick it up with my left hand and with the right hand press start scan and locate the QR code on the back of the Klima smart thermostat. Okay, so my Klima is starting to connect. Let's give it a few minutes or seconds and it should be able to move on to the next stage shortly. Here we go, we've connected to the Klima smart thermostat. Now it's prompting us to connect to the Wi-Fi. 
So we're going to connect to Boulder Office Wi-Fi. Input the Wi-Fi password and please be very careful and ideally actually copy paste the password if you have it saved anywhere because making a mistake here might create further issues down the line. So please be very, very careful with the Wi-Fi password and press connect. So let's give it a couple seconds to pair the Klima to the Wi-Fi. Okay, we've successfully paired Klima to the Wi-Fi and we can proceed to the next stage. So at this stage, Klima is fully connected and pairing is complete. So our Klima is now online and let's move on to the next stage to actually control our units. So first things first, let's start setup and choose from a a whole array of devices that your Klima is compatible with, whether it's a mini split device, whether it's a portable AC, a tower AC, a ceiling cassette, window AC, uh, or other. At this point, I have a mini split AC over there, so I'm going to choose mini split. My remote control has a screen, so I'm gonna choose with screen. So we have to position the Klima with the screen facing up on the surface of the table and press continue. So my Klima is in exactly the correct position. So we're gonna press continue. At this point, the app is prompting us to pick up the unit and tap continue. Now we're going to point the remote at Klima from 15 centimeters away and press continue. At the next stage, the Klima device and the app are highlighting an area to which you should be aiming. So let's press continue once we find that area. Next step, press the remote's power button. So you've got the power button here, let's press on. So to make sure the commands are fully compatible, let's run some, run some tests. Press continue. So before testing starts, make sure that the mini split unit is off. If it's not off, just turn it off right now with the remote. And if it's already off, then press continue. Um, okay, so at the next stage, please make sure that the Klima is within sight of your mini split AC or any other AC that you're actually connecting the smart thermostat to. So let's press continue. I just heard a beep and my mini split was turned on. So I'm gonna confirm that my unit turned on. The next question is, did your, your unit receive a command? I heard a beep, which means it did. So I'm gonna press confirm. The next question is, did your unit turn off? And yes, I heard a beep and my unit turned off, so I can press confirm. So at this stage, the pairing is complete. So you can start enjoying the smart functionality that the Klima Smart Thermostat brings to your home. Thank you, and we can't wait to hear your feedback.